Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about lab testing of textiles in apparel industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Lab testing of textiles. How to get started? Lab testing. When you are exporting consumer products, you need to ensure that they are safe for consumers and comply with all regulations in the country of import. Lab testing is vital if you want to verify compliance with regulatory standards. The properties of the material are checked on different stages of its production. Before a textile material or product is put into market for consumer application, it needs to be checked and evaluated for its quality, reliability and performance. Failing to meet regulatory requirements or failing to test your products for compliance can lead to heavy fines and confiscated products. Why you need to conduct lab tests? If you are exporting to the European Union, for example, you need to understand how REACH and ROS work. These regulations ban certain substances from being imported to the EU and place special requirements on other substances. In the United States, you need to understand regulations like CPSIA and Proportion 65. CPSIA imposes testing and documentation requirements of children's products, while Prop 65 deals with chemicals in products that are imported to California. California Proportion 65 warning. As an exporter, you need to have a clear picture of all the regulations that apply to your products and conduct lab tests to ensure their compliance. Preparing for a lab test Once you have done your research and determined which regulations are applicable to your product, some amount of lab testing is likely required or desirable. Not all testing labs are created equal when deciding on a lab to work with. It's important to be sure they are accepted by the appropriate body in the country of importation. For example, in the US, the Consumer Product Safety Commission CPSC maintains a list of acceptable testing labs. If you are importing into the US, you should select a lab that's on that list. Once you have made a decision, you are ready to schedule your lab test. Testing should be completed as early as possible since the final test report is often required for customs clearance. To submit your request, you will need to fill out a test request form with the lab. Filling out the test request form. When requesting a lab test, you will need to fill out a test request form. On the TRF, you will provide contact information as well as details about the products to be tested. You will also provide supplier information and specify the test for the lab to conduct. It's important to let the testing lab know the specific country where the products will be sold to ensure that the appropriate tests are conducted for that region as different markets have different regulations and requirements. Types of textile testing Fiber test, identification of fiber grading, fiber length, elongation and strength etc. Yarn test Yarn count, strength, appearance, twist per unit length, hairiness etc. Fabric test Thermal properties, pilling, air, permeability, thickness, shrinkage, stiffness, elongation, width, crease, resistance, number of ends and picks per unit length, weight of fabric per unit length, stretch and recovery etc. Tests for apparel Appearance after dry cleaning or washing, color fastness and pH value, crease resistance recovery, dimensional stability to washing, flammability, button attachment strength, oil and water repellency, print durability, seam performance and slippage, shrinkage and side seam twist in garment after laundry, wash care labeling. Test for apparel Mechanical test, tensile strength and elongation, tear strength, dry and wet rubbing, bursting strength, breaking strength. Physical test, GSM, linear density, diameter of fiber, ends per inch. Chemical test, Solvent, extractable matter, fiber identification, moisture content, dye identification, color fastness test, pH value of water extract. Special testing, azo dyes, 
फॉर्मल डीआईड कंटेंट पैथलेट्स निकल टॉक्सिन्स टोटल लेड और कैडमियम थ्री कॉमन मिस्टेक्स बायस मेक वेन रिक्वेस्टिंग लैब टेस्ट नॉट स्पेसिफाइंग एज ग्रेडिंग ऑन द टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट फॉर्म एज ग्रेडिंग इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप इन डेवलपिंग मार्केटिंग एंड लेबलिंग कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स वेन रिक्वेस्टिंग लैब टेस्ट यू नीड टू बी श्योर दैट यू प्रोवाइड एक्यूरेट एज ग्रेडिंग रिक्वायरमेंट इन द टी आर एफ स्पेसिफाइंग टेस्ट फॉर द रॉन्ग रेगुलेशंस वेन इंपोर्टिंग कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स वेदर टू द यू एस ई यू और एल्सवेयर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ऑल द रेगुलेशन दैट अप्लाई टू योर प्रोडक्ट स्कीपिंग रिक्वायर्ड टेस्ट टू सेव कॉस्ट इन सम केसेस कंप्लाइंग विद रेगुलेशन मीन कंडक्टिंग स्पेसिफिक कंपल्सरी टेस्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ विच टेस्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड विच वंस आर ओनली रिकमेंडेड सो दैट यू डोंट गेट फाइंड और एंड अप विद प्रोडक्ट स्टक एट कस्टम्स वॉट एपन्स आफ्टर योर लैब टेस्ट द वेंडर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रिसिप्ट एंड रिव्यू ऑफ ऑल प्रोडक्ट टेस्ट रिजल्ट रिपोर्ट्स फॉर कंप्लाइंस टू द एप्लीकेबल स्टैंडर्ड इन द इवेंट ऑफ अ पास डेसिग्नेशन फ्रॉम द लैब मैनेजर द टेस्ट रिपोर्ट कैन बी फाइल फॉर फ्यूचर रेफरेंस एंड द ऑर्डर आइडेंटिफाइड इन द रिपोर्ट कैन बी रिलीज फॉर प्रोडक्शन और शिपिंग इन द इवेंट ऑफ अ फेल डेसिग्नेशन फ्रॉम द लैब मैनेजर द वेंडर में आइर सबमिट एंड इम्प्रूव सैम्पल टू द लैब फॉर रीटेस्टिंग If no improvement can be made, submit the current test results with test samples to the Quality Assurance Department for review and recommendations. Merchandise with a failed test report may not be put into production or shipped. In the event of a failed test report, only the Quality Assurance Department is authorized to approve shipment of merchandise, and such approval must be in writing. Most of the times, merchandisers only see on the pass/fail conclusion. while actually there are more information you can get from a report check on laboratory which done the test a third party lab normally will be stronger reference than in house lab check on the date of the test report normally report can be used as reference in the test done within one year check on the sample tested and mentioned on the report whether it is really represent the quality you asked for check on the parameter tested whether the correct parameter you or your brand needed check on method of the test mentioned on the report if method of test is different with standard test result is not valid check on the result of test and unit of value compare the result to your customer standard ensure test method and unit of value same as standard conclusion If you want to ensure that your products are compliant with regulations, lab testing is a must. Not testing your products can set you up to receive fines or run into issues with customs. Be sure that you understand all the regulations that apply to your products in the market where you sell them. Then you can choose the appropriate lab and submit your testing request. In the event of a test failure, be sure you fully understand the reasons for the failure and take appropriate measure to correct it if there's no failure you can be more confident that your products will clear customs and you can avoid costly fines thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation Bye have a good day